up? This is Juno and welcome to my channel. I recently did a body transformation video and if you haven't checked that out, you can watch that right here. And thanks for all of the love in the comments, y'all. I mean, I, I really appreciate it. You know, people be saying the craziest stuff, I'm not gonna lie, but I thank you for that. And, um, you know, I made that video so I can pretty much help and inspire and motivate anyone that's trying to go through a body transformation in a realistic manner. And this is my follow-up video. And after a lot of um, reflections on how I can best help my fellow skinny fat Thors out there, I decided to do a five part series and this is part one. So in part one, I'm basically gonna share the exact story of what I went through on a month to month basis. Pretty much I'm gonna start from zero and go through the entire journey of like what my mindset was, um, why did I even start doing fitness, how did I look at my workouts, um, pretty much uh, balancing life and working out and fitness and then starting to realize that diet is important um, and figuring out how to go from bulking to cutting. I'm gonna go through the exact journey of what I actually went through, both the good and bad. In part two, I'm going to go through everything that I learned to help anyone that is trying to start from zero, the bottom, they have never gone to the gym or they know nothing about fitness. I'm gonna talk about um, a workout plan, how to diet, what my diet was, when to start incorporating cardio, um, what to do in terms of bulking and cutting, all those th things that I learned, the must do tips um, to go through a body transformation. I'm gonna talk about everything um, so that hopefully someone that is starting from zero can um, directly kind of know and plan out um, their body transformation. I'm also gonna talk about the things I learned not to do so that hopefully you can avoid the mistakes that I made right from the start. All right, and then part three, four, and five will be the exact workout routine and exercises that I did. Um, I'm no professional, so I will just talk about what exercises I did. I'm not gonna talk about how to do them. If you don't know how to do them, just look them up online. I would suggest the science-based fitness YouTubers. They can tell you more about form because I'm no expert or professional. Um, part three is going to be a um, pretty much a complete uh, beginner's workout for people that wanna start um, at home with no equipment. Part four will be the home workout that I did at home with minimal and affordable equipment. And then part five will be my actual gym routine and gym workout and the exercises that I did um, to gain muscle. Before I get into my fitness journey, I wanted to talk about three important points. Um, first and foremost, please don't feel pressure to change the way that you look. And that goes with everything from your body to your body image to the way that you present yourself physically. If you don't already know this, you are beautiful just the way you are. Um, everyone has phases where they are more fit or less fit. Don't let the world tell you nothing. Seriously, the internet got way too high, unrealistic beauty and body standards that are just whack. And I can get, I will get more into this in part two, but please, for your wellness um, and kind of to be happy and to enjoy the entire journey. Uh, you, that's something that you do have to understand. You are beautiful. That's something that I learned that helped me stay happy and motivated. Number two, I am not a fitness YouTuber and I don't plan on being one. I'm simply trying to share my experience as a testimony so anyone can benefit. Everything that I do and say is experience based, so please make sure to do your research even after what I say. Lastly, uh, this series will be specific to my experience, which is the skinny fat demographic. Um, everyone has a slightly different um, body type and that definitely plays in a role. And so definitely there will be things that work for me that might not work for you. And so definitely take away what works for you. Here we go, let's take it back to 2020. To give you some context, in high school I was stick skinny, I was pretty much running um, cross country, and so from high school to college, I basically transformed from skinny to skinny fat. 
And in college, like any other typical broke college student, you know, I was eating a bunch of late night cheap foods that were super unhealthy. And so I was never thinking about, you know, what was going in my food. And I've never went to the gym. Actually, I did go to the gym three times. Um, yeah, but that was me in college. And then right around March of 2020, I came back home because of the vid and because I was kind of stressed out from school. I came back home and I ate even more food. And so that was where I was at from the start. And I hadn't, I really hadn't exercised for like the last five months. So I was stress eating and stress relieving from the food that I was eating. And then I came across these home body transformation videos. And these were insane because it was, it was so incredible for me to see that like someone that was so kind of out of shape transform into being super healthy. And that was like, that was fire, right? And so I was like, oh my gosh. And then I started to like really watch these. Like I, I probably watched like a hundred at the beginning and I was like, oh my gosh. Like I was so motivated and inspired to do this myself. I was like, I'm gonna do one for myself. Um, and because it was COVID, it was locked down. I had a lot more time because school was online and it was a bit easier. So I was like, okay, well, I have the time. I'm going to try to go for it. Also in high school and college, I was always the guy like, like, yo, I'm going to go to the gym next week. I swear, like, I'm going to go. Like, I'm going to go. Like, like, where's the gym again? <laughs> How did I start? Well, like me being a runner, I started running. I'm like, to me, like exercise is fitness and I was out of shape. So I'm like, all right. I'm just gonna start running. And so I start running maybe like three to five days a week. To me, that was, you know, like before like preseason of like any sport, like you do like conditioning to get into shape. So I'm like, okay, word, word, since I'm a runner, I'm gonna get into the shape. And so already from the start, I'm doing like um, a lot of running and I wasn't, I had no idea of like what exactly cardio meant and like cardio is like kind of like burning calories and like, Already from the start, I was basically kind of doing it wrong in the sense that like, if you're skinny fat, you actually do have somewhat of advantage because you have more weight, that more body weight that you can use to gain strength. But for me, from the start, I might have been losing weight and I didn't even know I wasn't tracking that mentally or literally. Um, so I was really already kind of just like doing things for no reason. Even though this wasn't the best strategic move, it was still at least good for me to run in the sense that like the last three to five months I was doing literally zero exercise. And so like it was at least by then I was probably in my reverse prime shape. And so like it at least got me moving. After running for a mouth, I realized, okay, running is probably not going to transform my body, at least in terms of what I was going for. It might even reverse transform my body. And so I'm like, okay, I probably need to do some specific exercises because if you look at any running or any like of the professional, you know, runners, you know, they ain't really looking like, you know, that muscular. It's not like, you know, they really have strength because that's not what they're going for. So I'm like, okay, I probably need to do some specific exercises. Then I see those like transform your body into one month videos like on YouTube. And I'm like, yo, like if you can do it in one month, you could definitely, you know, surely do it in three months. And so like I gave myself some leeway and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do this in three months. And so that was when I um, took my iPhone and then I recorded that first video. If you haven't seen that, you can see that in the original um, kind of body transformation um, skinny fat Thor video that I made. So I started watching home workout videos and calisthenic videos and I was doing some of the weirdest exercises. Legit, I was doing like donkey kicks, uh, modified handstands, all these like different weird holds. I was doing these beginner calisthenics exercises that were really just seemed kind of funny. That was pretty much my first week. And at this point I'm like, okay, I have no idea what I'm doing. I feel like I'm doing something wrong. And then I'm like, okay, what exactly am I doing and what do I want? Then I see these six pack videos and it's like six pack in one week. So I'm like, yo, like say no more, I need that. So like I start doing these 10 minute ab circuit videos and basically um, 
I do them for three days and I still see no six packs. So I'm like, oh, it's probably because I didn't do it for five days. So I do it for five days the next week. And I'm like, oh, we're, it's probably because like I got to do the ab circuit multiple times. So then I start to, to do it twice a day for five days a week and still no six pack. And then around the third week, I'm like, okay, I, st- I don't see a six pack. And honestly, like you should, pr- I should probably work out the rest of my body. And for me, when I thought of like, you know, fitness and muscle, like, what do you think? What did I think of dumbbells and, you know, bigger arms. So that's when I start to look up, you know, workouts for bigger arms and things like that. And that was when I started to do um, a few exercises. And that's also when I started to take my progress picks. So now it's June, it's a month, and then I start working out my arms. Basically what I'm doing is I'm following those like 20 minute circuit videos where they just pretty much, you literally just do the workout with them. Um, they tell you exactly what to do, when to rest, and you're literally just following along the entire video for 20 minutes the workout. And at this time, like it's only 20 minutes, right? And at the beginning, like when you start working out, you're like high on this energy of like, oh my gosh, I need to work out more, more, more. And more working out means more muscle. So like, I'm also doing these workouts low key, like two and sometimes three times. And I'm doing these workouts with um, 10 pound, 12 pound dumbbells that my mom got from a yard sale for two bucks. Then I come across these push-up videos. And so I try a push-up and legit, I couldn't do it. Like the thing is, if you're skinny fat, like because your muffin top is like kind of huge, like you have more weight to push, but you're skinny. So it's hard. And so like, I then tried to do it on my knees. I could do like seven. And then the next day, my triceps are crazy. So right here, so I'm like, oh my gosh. So I'm like, word, word. I feel like this is a good workout. So then I start sporadically doing push-ups, however many I can just like randomly during the day. And because I couldn't do that many, like I can just do it like literally any time in no organized fashion. And so by this point, I'm doing a mix of arm workouts, some kind of push-ups, modified push-ups, abs, and running. It's it's this kind of mess of like doing random stuff. So we get to July and now I'm like, okay, I probably should have some kind of workout plan. Um, and so I create this incredible plan. I'm like, okay, arms, push-ups, arms, push-ups, arms, because I wanted big arms. And by now, Um, from Monday through Friday, I was doing the plan that I created plus abs every 10 days because I wanted to get that fantasy six pack. I was like, I need to. I was also like, who cares about your back? I literally never even use my back or look at my back and it's on my back. So like, you know, I didn't care and no back. (laughs) And obviously that was when I, you know, didn't know about anything and So I'm doing mostly just upper body, upper front body exercises, abs, and I'm still running because I don't know, I'm just so used to running. So I'm still running. And even worse, because it was the vid times, like my homie was like, yo, let's do virtual hit. And so then I'm also doing like running and like I'm doing hit, like these 20 minute super intense hit sessions every week. And so I'm doing a lot of like counterintuitive exercises in the sense that I'm like burning a bunch of calories, but I'm like trying to gain strength. But honestly, I still don't really know what I'm trying to do at this point. That was me in August last September. And I start to see some little, you know, bicep definition. By now I can do a few push-ups. I can even do some variations, but still, you know, no sign of a six pack. So I'm like, okay, I'll go from instead of a three month body transformation to a six month body transformation. Mind you, I'm not doing any back exercises, right? Lol. And so I come across the pull-up video and then I watch these pull-up videos and I'm seeing like everyone saying how good of an exercise it is for your back and for other like health benefits and like um, kind of strengthening your back, but also like stretching out your back and like things like posture. And so I'm like, okay, word, I'm gonna do pull-ups. And so I buy one of those, you know, cheap pull-up attachments you just attached to your door and then I start doing push or I try doing the pull-up and when I get the pull-up bar I can't do one I can do like I can you know but like I can't like you know and so 
Um, now I'm focused on pull-ups and like the pull-up videos, like some of them like kind of make it seem like they, they lay out the pull-up workout if you start from zero as if like that's kind of the entire workout. So like I'm in this time, like I'm in pull-up mode and so I'm just doing a pull-up kind of workout, different kinds of like hangs and swings, everything I can to basically increase my um, pull-up count. And so I do that and this continues for about two months and then I can, I increase my pull-ups to like four. I think I go from like kind of one to like four and then like I'm like, okay, it's been like two months that I've just been doing pull-up workouts instead of like the whole arms and push-ups thing. I'm like, okay, I probably should do like a mix of both. Oh, like I need like a weekly routine for all of my different exercises. So then I'm like, okay, new plan. Come October and I'm like, okay, now I have a workout routine. Um, it, it is now push-ups on Mondays, then arms on Tuesdays, then pull-ups on Wednesdays, and arms on Thursday, and Friday is push-ups. Um, I'm also doing abs three times a day, three times a week because I foolishly still really wanted that six pack. And by now I'm still running. I'm not doing any leg exercises because I'm like running is exercising your legs, obviously. So no leg day or like that is leg day. And so that's where I was at in October. It's been six months since I started and now I can do about seven to nine pull-ups. I can also do about maybe like 30 push-ups um, consist or like consecutively, I've gained some strength, but still no epic body transformation. So I'm like, okay, you know what? I'll just go from instead of a six month body transformation to one year. In my mind, this is hurting my pride like crazy because all over the internet, homies are transforming their body like one month transformation, three month transformation, like six month transformation. Some people even like in one week, and I'm like, like what? Like what the flip? And so um, this is kind of where my mind state was at. I was still gaining strength, but still no epic tra body transformation. So I'm a little, I'm slightly discouraged. In December of 2022, my family actually moved from Sacramento to Raleigh, North Carolina. And so my consistency of working out went more so from like five days a week to more like two to one days a week because like we had to do so much packing that I like was pretty like busy and like also just lazy. That's where I was at in December, 2020. That's when we moved to North Carolina.